Yes, guys, we are finally back and we are finally made it to another reaction on this year. BRBP TV, be real, be positive, television, brothers and sisters. Big up all yourself for definitely tuning into DC Vibrations. And of course, you might be wondering from time to time why I have this on my head. Tune into the Mr. Licks vlogs, guys. You will definitely get to see what is under this thing right there. You might like it. If you don't like it, let me know as well in the comment box below, guys. But definitely check out the Mr. Licks vlogs channel right there. And then for the latest on the travel vlogs brothers and sisters definitely get that vibrations 150 percent and of course guys don't forget to do what click the thumbs up button brothers and sisters click the like button i would appreciate that of course helping the algorithms to push these videos further and further and of course brothers and sisters don't forget to do what subscribe and turn on that post notification so you pretty much be notified when i drop my videos right there and help this channel to grow as well if you do care brothers and sisters if you do care definitely subscribe to this channel right there and then without further ado brothers and sisters let us Going to the latest reaction reaction for the BRBPTV platform today, brothers and sisters. Let's get it. So this is one of the nurses, brothers and sisters. I'm sure you guys are very much familiar with this particular one right there. And of course, she's going to talk about the nurse who passed away as a result of maybe negligence. What exactly happened, brothers and sisters? But of course, the title reads, Nurse That Should Have Been Alive Today. I keep mentioning that sentiment right there, brothers and sisters, on the concern that a number of persons should have been alive today in Dominica. Unfortunately, the medical fraternity is not the best, even though the government or the governing officials want to make it seem as if it's the best of the best. <laughs> I listened to, um, what's his name, Caressa speaking, and you wonder what's going on. But brothers and sisters, let us get into the vibrations for the day right there. A press statement from Rosie Sparks Women, Dominica, read a maternal death of Nurse Tracy John Lewis of Silver Lake. Hmm. On behalf of Rosie Sparks Women, Dominica, I extend profound condolences to the family, friends, community of Silver Lake, hmm. and professional colleagues of the Cisnes Tracy John Lewis of Silver Lake, Dominica. Let me first also state it that um, I, I sympathize with the family who lost their their daughter, their their sister, their their cousin, their friend, whatever it is, brothers and sisters. They lost somebody very important to them as a result of the failing medical healthcare in dominica i keep saying this you know guys but hey maybe one day when it reaches your doorstep you'll understand why i keep saying these things right there something needs to be done let's continue a baby nurse a hair artist mm. was stolen from us in broad daylight in the place where she would hmm. her dream was killed and the silver lakes silver lining turned black with mourning hmm. The news of her death and fetal demise sent shocking waves of anger, pain, and grief throughout Dominica. I also forget that she also had an infant inside of her. And you try to wonder what exactly was going on with the infant. We heard that, well, that's from what I heard, brothers and sisters. We heard that the infant was not alive. Even though the machine of some sort seemed to have been giving some sort of heartbeat. This is why I asked the question when I posted a statement in that regard, brothers and sisters. I asked, do they calibrate the machines? Now, this is just a thought process that I have, brothers and sisters. Do they calibrate the machines? I think that is something that needs to be done regularly. How on earth there's no heartbeat? Be that the case. There's no heartbeat, brothers and sisters, and the machine is giving heartbeat. What is this? AI? A an AI baby that has been created? Anyways, let's continue, guys. Including among the DCFH administrators physicians, midwives, nurses, and auxiliary staff. Hmm. According to the World Health Organization, health system failure translates to poor quality care, including disrespect, mistreatment and abuse, insufficient numbers of and inadequately trained health workers, hmm. shortages of essential medical supplies, and poor accountability oh. on the part of health system authorities. Brothers and sisters, can you say that what she has indicated right there is something that has been reflected in Dominica? Can we all say that, hey guys, something is going wrong and exactly what she's saying is exactly what has been reflected in Dominica. I've heard nurses come in and complain and say, hey, we are short-staffed. They're saying they are short-staffed and apparently there's nothing being done for this. To the point we are hearing that there are certain nurses, especially in like the countryside, there are certain nurses, there's like one nurse for like, three or four constituencies it seems <laughs> one nurse and we expect that nurse to take care of four five hundred people i mean 
we we we. <sighs> The Pan, Pan American Health Organization reports that inequalities in socioeconomic status, ethnicity, education, age, and place of residence all increase the risk of a woman dying during mm. pregnancy, childbirth, mm. or the postpartum period. The Pan, Pan American Health Organization reports that inequalities in socioeconomic status Inequalities in socioeconomic status, brothers and sisters, is one of the contributing factors that will cause an individual who's pregnant, a woman that is pregnant, I say individual, a woman that is pregnant to lose their life during that time. It's a, it, when, brothers and sisters, I don't think you understand this. You know, there are 8 billion people in the world, and 8 billion people were brought about by a woman. There could have been many more, I'm sure, babies that have passed away, and women who have also passed away as a result of giving birth. Giving birth is a life and death situation. You know the amount of blood that, oh my God, let me not even, let, let me leave that there. Oh, kudos to all the mothers out there, the real mothers, eh? But kudos to all the mothers that pretty much gave birth to Ethnicity, education, age, and place of residence. Mm. Place of residence. This girl worked in the hospital. She was a nurse in the hospital. The very place that is supposed to be a caretaker of human health. She lost her life as a result of what seemed to have been some sort of negligence when it comes on to either the equipment or whether they were paying attention to what was going on. Who knows? Brothers and sisters, who knows? I remember for Dinah Frampton when the individual brought the information out. Yes, the individual was harshing the statement that she was making, but... The information was vital to know exactly what was going on in the place. When 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 the partner came in and saw what was going on, he was mad about it. For Dinah Frampton, they did this to brothers and sisters. There's a nurse working as a nurse in the hospital. And she passed away as a result of that idea. Increase the risk of a woman dying during pregnancy, childbirth, or the postpartum period. Hmm. Further, it states that 9 out of 10 maternal deaths are preventable. Mm. 9 out of 10 maternal deaths are pre preventable, brothers and sisters. They are preventable. So what exactly is going on why they got that, that has that, why it has that high number? It could have been prevented if they knew what to do, if they had the equipments. Both of which we know Dominica is lacking in. It's not to say anything bad on Dominica, but that is a reality that Dominica has. It's unfortunate, but that is how it is. Family access to evidence-based maternal care. Even on the preliminary information I have gathered, as a registered and licensed midwife in the Commonwealth of Dominica, I can categorically conclude that Tracy Jones' death was preventable. She should have been alive today and not just her i know she's the latest one on the list for diana i believe should have should have been alive today um um a number of other folks should have been alive. elias was another one who i believe should have been alive today oh my god i don't know I, man humans in the past several months dominicans here and abroad have lamented the fact that dominica is in that place where our health system has Sucks. failed. Yep. Taking all of the above into consideration. And even before she continues, I've heard the Prime Minister saying that Dominica is one of the best in the world. If Dominica is one of the best in the world, my God, the world in trouble. The world is in deep, deep, deep abyss of a trouble. Darkness, brothers and sisters. That is Dominica's plight right there. In that place. The world's plight if Dominica is one of the best or has one of the best medical facilities. While they themselves make their little ones and their family go out and get medical attention overseas. I will never forget the Minister of Health, the previous one, when asked, well, Zaledge asked about his family. Said that his family member is overseas seeking medical attention and he's the Minister of Health in Dominica. Don't you think your own family member? Let's see if we can put things together 
to help out why then do you have to spend how much money to send them overseas for medical attention when you are the minister of health with all the cbi funds that has been created billions of dollars that could actually be put into the medical field in dominica no but it seems like when you look at what is taking place you have to look at the people as well because the people are the ones that are allowing it so instead of they say hey we need better medical facilities we need better training we need better things to take care of our health Instead, we get that brothers and sisters that can actually elevate the standard of life. We are given houses that we do not own. Our health system has failed. Taking all of the above into consideration, and with a great measure of urgency, Roses Park's Women Dominica urgently calls for a root cause analysis mm, of nurse tracy and baby tracy john with deaths yeah the i agree there needs to be some sort of forensic understanding this because guys keep in mind this is not the first time this has happened in dominica this is not the first time but apparently because it has happened so much people just think it's a culture <laughs> you know oh that person passed away well, whatever could it be negl negligence or could it be that the, the nurses or wherever they are don't, don't care? You know? I mean, could it be the machines that are needed that... But that's not, let me continue. Let me Hospital continue Board Authority and the Ministry of Health of Dominica by Extension need once and for all to redeem itself. Step up to excellence in the provision of quality maternal and general health care to the people of Dominica and all who come to our shores. I understand what she's saying that the Minister of Health and its individuals who are in charge of the medical facility need to do better on the basis of, you know, providing what needs to be provided. However, brothers and sisters, we have a Minister of Health that is an engineer. He's an engineer, brothers and sisters. They removed the health practitioner himself from being Minister of Health and put an engineer there in position. And we expect the engineer to do something in the healthcare facility don't get me wrong you know everybody has their brain to say hey well that is going wrong and this is going wrong i think we should do something about what is going wrong and these things but for somebody to actually care this is not a, a profession that he went into this is something he was put into you know he went to do engineering i think his his partner is is is, is in the medical field that's understandable but you she's not the minister of finance I'm a minister of my health. You are. And you're an engineer. Why didn't you put, make you engineer of housing? They have Melissa. <laughs> the one that does create, create um, Creole clothes. What do you call that again? Carnival costumes, from my understanding. Have had been the one in charge of infrastructure. Really? Oi. And they took out the minister of health, the real healthcare professional, and they put him in finance. It's not somebody that major in accounting. That's a <laughs> boy. Quality health care is a right. We therefore demand a root cause analysis account of why 27-year-old nurse Tracy John Lewis mm. and her family did not receive quality care and respectful treatment at the Dominica China Friendship Hospital. Mm. Hence, her baby's death, followed by her own demise, on Saturday, 20th April, 2024. Look, guys, there's something important that you stated right there. I want to go back. Family did not receive health care is a right, Dominica, and all who come to our shores. Quality health care is, is a, a right. right. Quality health care is a right. Brothers and sisters, I, we oftentimes put blame on the ministers and they need to take blame through. But the people also need to demand quality health care. Who on earth we just so mediocre about what is taking place in Dominica? This has been going on for years. People telling me that the hospital now is better than it was back then. We have nicer buildings. Doesn't mean that the quality of service is better. Doesn't mean healthcare is better. It's worse, brothers and sisters. Oh my God. Sometimes I just feel like I talk in, people hearing and they agree. It's one thing when you talk in and people agree if, disagree with what you're saying, so you're trying to convince them. But it's another thing when you talk in and people agree with what you're saying 
and they just not doing nothing about it. <laughs> you know, it's like the opposition calling for people to rally together for their betterment. They don't show you know. But then they vex and come in and say all things about this and that, this and that. They come in, country brothers and sisters, it's all you have to make change all you eat. Who else going to do it? The government don't want to do it. The government apparently making their own way because they can send their family members and themselves overseas for medical attention. Not true. Minister of Health last time, I tell you. Family member overseas seeking medical attention. You are the Minister of Health. Don't you think, boy, my family member, let me see if we can bring things in Dominica to make it better, at least for my family members to be, you know, have better health care in Dominica. If my family have better health care in Dominica, other people will benefit as well. You don't think of it that way? No. Boy. We therefore demand a root cause analysis account of why 27-year-old nurse Tracy John Lewis and her family did not receive quality care and respectful treatment at the Dominica China Friendship Hospital. Well, guys, before she continues, I also... You know, sometimes when you don't really care, let's say there are, are businesses like this, they don't really care much of the customers. They're just there for the customers to give them money. And yeah. But you would say that within the sphere of the business, at least you would try to treat your people well. I know in a certain place in the United States, they treat the customers well, but they treat the employees even better than the customers so that the employees feel like the business that they are part of is beneficial to them. I think that's how business should be, generally speaking. Now, when it comes down to where she worked, she worked in health. Can you think that they would give a priority as an employee, a nurse in health care? They would give a priority, brothers and sisters. From what I heard, it really saddens me, brothers. I'm not trying to say much in that regard. But from what I heard, I just, I, I it's like you would give your people the priority, you know? Give your people priority. That's a nurse. What a nurse? No, we need to ensure that we do everything possible for the nurse. And don't get me wrong, you know, brothers and sisters. There's a possibility that they may have done everything possible for her within the means that she has. That is the important point. Within the means that they have. They have nurses that could be terrible too, but there's also the means because we are customers here in Dominica has a lot of things missing. Within the means that is needed to actually help her. And it's a possibility that both was lacking in that regard. Man, I tell you. Since her baby's death, followed by her own demise on Saturday, 20th April, 2024. Rest in peace is simply not enough. Neither will be the meeting of all funeral expenses. Tracy deserved better. Can you imagine, brothers and sisters, negligence happen as a result of your family member passing away and you then have to cough up monies that you probably don't even know where you're going to get. You might have to take a loan to then try to bury the same family member that somebody else had a hand in ensuring that your family member did not survive. I said that to say, make the point on the basis of things not being put in place. And I think if things are not being put in place, especially what boy, especially if there's a need for something and the ministers them did not put it or they say they're going to be putting it and nothing happens. I've heard I've heard this thing a number of times where ministers say they're going to be doing something. Oh, we're going to be putting this and that, this and that and nothing like that happens. I think the ministers them, if it's as a result of something that they stated that they were going to be doing and did not do it, they should be held to full account. Because if you make a statement on the basis of trying to put things into consideration, you have the funds, everything, and you don't do it, and somebody passes away, I believe you should be held accountable because the people put you in positions. Why? So you can do things for them and their, for their benefit. Not for your benefit, because apparently what is going on is apparently for the government's them own benefit, they're doing things. But the people put you in positions to do things for them. And if you stated that you're going to be doing a number of things and you did not do it, I believe if somebody passed away, you should be held in account. Guys, help, if you understand what I'm saying, let me let me do that in the comment box. Do you think that the ministers, in whatever capacity that they are ministers, if they stated that they're going to be doing something and they don't do it, and as a result of not doing it, somebody passes away, do you think they should be held to account, brothers and sisters? Especially 
for the basic things that they should be able to do is to pay for what they have caused. The family should not be bearing the burden for this. They should at least, that's the least they can do. Family deserves better. Of course. Childbearing women and their families deserve better. Dominica deserves better health care. Dominica deserves quality health care. Our health professionals deserve quality, healthy working environments to deliver. Step up or step down. I agree. I'm step up or step down. Step up or step down. The government made a whole reset just for them to go back to the same zero. Step up or step down. We saw individuals stepping up for them to come back and do the same thing that the previous ones were doing or even worse. Or even worse. Brothers, boy. <laughs> step up or step down. You cannot do the job. Come on, dinner. Why you want to be there just for you to draw a salary and the people themselves coming just to vote for you because, oh, you red. <laughs> you red. I will vote for you red. Are you going to give me a little money while your family members passing away under terrible health conditions while the government coming and say, oh, we have the greatest or one of the best health health facilities in the world that can, comp that can be compared to first world countries? People have better facilities than Dominica. I, I, I rather we have a terrible building, an absolutely phenomenal service. I think that would be much better. Don't you think so? We have nice buildings, but terrible service. That's best we go back to the terrible buildings that we had back in the day. Well, it wasn't terrible, but, you know, it was smaller. We had smaller buildings, but the service was phenomenal, brothers and sisters. Where people used to come from overseas to come to Dominica. They used to come from overseas to come to Dominica to do operations. I met two people from overseas. Have no links to Dominica whatsoever, but they came to Dominica for operations when they were younger. And you don't think that is a problem, but don't, don't, you think, don't you think that is a problem as a result of the healthcare failing constantly? Your family members, I'm sure you have a family member who you know passed away in the hospital that should have been alive today. So how much, how, how long will you be able to take that burden? How long? Ah, uh, God, help me have a father. Brothers and sisters, this is pretty much all I for this year. Rosie Let me see what she has to say midwife consultant, founder of Rosie Sparks Women Dominica, Founder Association of Dominica Midwives Inc. and former president of Dominica Nurses Association. Thank you for listening and thank you more for acting. Well, we like to listen and we like to talk. There's little to no evidence of actions. Hopefully, there's some sort of action by the family to try to figure out what went wrong because there's too much of these things happening. I remember one of my friend's grandparents in the hospital and they wondering what happened. It seems like they were ill treat not and they were treating the man in the hospital. They sent me some of the pictures of I tell them I couldn't post that up. Next day we had the partner pass away. We. The conditions that the man were in, the stench. Ah yeah, yeah, Lord. This they seen that we and they live in the man. I understand if you say the man was a little difficult. I understand that. The man is an old man. The man going to kill me. He can give you no training for you to be able to handle that. You just leave the man. But, but what, what going on in Dominica? Then about what? Guys, what are your thoughts, man? If you understand this video, give this video a like. Click the thumbs up button. Click the like button. I would appreciate that. And of course, subscribe. And turn on that post notification if you have not done so yet, brothers and sisters. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. Let me know your thoughts right there because I really need to hear your thoughts. In that regard right there it's sad it's a sad sad times that we're living in very sad times indeed and we need to change that guys what are your thoughts man leave your thoughts in the comment box below guys and of course be real i try my best to be real but this is all for a positive outcome but hey it's up to the people as well that would need that to happen for them right there Oh, it's not my family member, so I have no dealings with it. What are you going to wait for, until you reach your family member to then say, hey, last all oh, happy, that's not a goal for me to send them overseas. Really? Ay, ay, ay. Be real, guys. Be positive. <laughs>